All right, just a quick video to show you the new feature or new features of Google Maps, specifically the offline maps, uh, which was announced at Google I.O. at uh, the end of last week. I've been after this for a very long time because what this means basically is if you've got no data connection at all, you'll be able to view Google Maps and hopefully Google Navigation. Now I haven't tried that yet, but I think Google Navigation just uses your GPS and the Maps data. So I don't think it needs anything else. In theory, when the Nexus 7 arrives, I'll be able to just use it as a large 7-inch sat-nav because it has GPS built into it. So basically, launch the Maps application. I've, I've launched it here. I'm looking at Manchester because uh, it's got a bit of detail in it. Now all you have to do is press your menu button and just click Make Available Offline. That's about it. You can draw the map in and out to the area you want. And it says at the bottom, don't you can see it, it's estimated size of the file of the map. So say if I wanted Manchester, Let's go a bit wider. Let's get all of the inner ring of Manchester. Click done. It will then save. As you can see there, I've got Sheffield already. It's now saving a local map of Manchester. And when it's done that, if that, that means if I'm in Manchester and there's some sort of data outage, or I don't want to use my 3G, I can just turn it off and the system will then know where I am and be able to use Google Navigation. So. Once you've saved an area, you can rename it for whatever crazy reason. And you've got big lists that I've clicked on. There's my Sheffield area there. Oops. Back up. There's my Manchester area. So it shows the area that you've got saved. My offline list. So really, really handy piece of kit, that, really. So now when I'm in the Manchester area, I hold down anywhere. Duncan Street there. Just a wild guess. And directions. I've got get directions. And I can do or I can just click the navigate button. Navigation. Getting driving directions. Head northwest on Wiresdale Road toward Park Square. Bizarrely as well, since the update, the uh, the sat nav is now a man. Uh I'm not sure how I feel about that. But yeah, just a really quick little feature there of that on offline map. Just hit hit straight in there, draw a section, or zoom into a section of the area you want to visit. You don't even need to hold down the address, you just literally do that again. Clear the wrong. Make available offline. Now, it does limit it. You, the, you can't just go for the whole UK. It gets to a certain point. There you go, look. Selected area too large. But you can get a fair chunk in there. So our next test really is to use the sat nav in the car with 3G turned off, you know, so I have no data on just to see how it manages it. And if it does it, then basically the next seven is going to be my gigantic sat nav for the next couple of well, for as long as it takes really. But yeah, just thought I'd point that out for you if you wasn't aware of it. I say it's it's only just become available since the last Google I.O. Alright, take care now, bye bye then.